everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today, I am reviewing the 20, ooh, I didn't realize this. Ooh, I'll, I'll get to this after the intro of the wine. The 2020 Samuel Robert Winery Vineyard Reserve Pinot Noir from Willamette Valley, Oregon. It is 13.5% uh, ABV, and I bought it whenever I was shooting my wine, my holiday wine meal pairing video, which you can see up here. The reason I went, ooh, <laughs> 2020 vintages for red wines. I'll be honest, there's, there's, there's two kinds of people who release 2020 vintages for red wines. I should say three, I should say three. One, people who are mass producers and just need to get it out because they're trying to make the money and keep the inventory rotation going through. Sometimes that can be good or bad. Two, um, fools who think their wine is good as a 2020 vintage when it's 2021. And uh, three, people who don't know any better and send it out anyway. So I'm really hoping that it's number one because I don't know anything about this producer. Uh, I, I do a lot of what the average consumer does. I just go buy a wine off the shelf and hope that it's good. And I don't do a lot of research into it, which is sometimes why people mock me in my videos, but whatever, I'm doing average consumer behavior here. So let's open it up. First of all, screw top plus one. I'm <laughs> I am a little bit worried about this wine though. With that being said, it's a 2020. I don't expect any aging on this wine whatsoever. If there is a hint that this wine has been aged, then at that point, there's something faulty with either the storage or the bottling or the production because this should just be a fruit bomb and that is it with some secondary. Uh, let's take a look at it. So from a color standpoint, pale ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose, uh, medium intensity on the nose, exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm getting a little bit of raspberry. There's a little bit of a clove. I'm not getting, I, I normally like to hope for cinnamon, but in this case I'm getting vanilla. Yeah, like a vanilla extract. And the extract aspect of it could be because I'm getting the alcohol in with that vanilla note as I'm smelling it. So it kind of smells like baking extract. There's a little bit of just a touch of red cherry. A little bit of sage. Yeah, so it's kind of an herbal wine. It has a little bit of red fruit a tiny bit of baking spices, but how does it taste? All right, so this is interesting because it has a little bit of a blend of what I would expect from a Willamette Valley Pinot Noir and a California Pinot Noir. And by that, I mean it has that kind of baking spice note. It's dry, has a medium, almost medium plus finish here. Uh, acid, medium plus. Body is a medium body. But the thing that aligns it is um, a lot of the Willamette Valley Pinot Noir that I've had tends to be almost Burgundian, is that a word? It has a Burgundy influence to it. So there's a definitive note of French oak on here. Here, I'm getting a little bit of a French oak note, but I'm also getting an American oak note, which I've experienced with wines, specifically Pinot Noirs from California. So it's almost like it's a like a mixed blend barrel note type thing going on. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of that spiciness, but I'm getting I'm getting that vanilla. However, though, it's not as heavy as a lot of the producers that make their Pinot Noir in California. So it actually is a nice little blend of both areas on my palate and on my nose. I was real, I'll be honest, I was a little bit worried whenever I smelled the vanilla because I was worried that this was gonna be more of like some of those California vanilla bombs and Luckily, they no restraint, so that, that's quite nice. Anyway, with all that being said, let's get to the Blick. So from a balance standpoint, yeah, full point, no complaints. Uh, length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium plus on the palate, half a point, and in terms of complexity, I am getting red fruit, I'm getting a little bit of vanilla, some baking spices, I, I'm getting a little bit of a breath there. I'm not getting any tertiary, which you shouldn't have, but I'm also not getting overwhelming secondary. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually give you a full point. So in the end, I'm gonna give you very good. It is, I mean, it, it is a nice little blend of Oregon and California in terms of the way that it presents on the palate, and I'm happy with it. So if you bought this bottle, then kudos to you. You're in for a treat, even though it is a 2020. But just wait till it develops. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Samuel Robert Winery 
Pinot Noir, the 2020, surprisingly, which is very good. I'd be interested to know if you have. Oh, and the Willamette Valley one. I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm going to go edit some videos now and finish this glass off. Cheers. I'll see you later.